Jiggy Cat On a damn feeling spree This is not good so And you can't mimic my energy 100 round drum And be hanging like a centipede Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. As the title states, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to convert eboot.pvp games into BinnaQ files via using a program called PopStation GUI or also known as PSX to PSP. But for today, we're just going to go ahead and get straight into the prerequisites and state everything that you need. So all you'll need basically for today is the PSX to PSP.exe as well as any PlayStation 1 game that is already in eboot that pvp format but with that being getting out the way we're really going to go ahead and get started on the pc side of things Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we're good to go to get started on the PC side of things first. All you need to do in the link in the description down below, I will have this uh, file and this is the actual file that is needed for today to basically extract out the bin and Q file from the eboot.pbp. So all you got to do is just go in the link in the description down below, download this file and extract this with Renoir. So just go to extract files, hit OK. And then basically, um, all of our contents from this dot zip, you could delete or you could just store it wherever if you want to keep it. But this is what we're going to be using to extract all of our contents from our eboot.pvp file. Of course, we need our game of choice. So I'm going to be using Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge. Pretty cool game for the PlayStation 1 if you haven't played it. But if I go into here, um, here's the eboot.pvp file we're going to be testing for today. So all we got to do now uh, for this process is go into PSX to PSP or pop station loader, whatever you want to call it. And then from here, you want to go to PSX to PSP EXE. It will ask you what mode you would like to use. I like to use the uh, blue GUI mode. So just click over this once and hit OK. And then all you got to do, it will automatically pop up for itself. But before we even get started, you want to go into options and where it says um, right here, you want to say um, where it says extracting ISO save as a CCD file. Make sure it's a Q file because if it's a Q, it's going to um, extract out a bin. If it's a CCD file, unless you want to make it into a dot image, then just have it as that. But this is primarily for bin and Q. So just have that, have that to save. And now we're basically good to go for this process. So all we got to do now is hit the convert menu right here. We need to find our .pbp file. So just go here. Um, let me go to my desktop. We're going to go into Frogger or wherever you kept your uh, eboot.pbp at. So here's a file where mine is located at. It already generated most of the metadata since the game is already um, within to this package. But what we're going to do is extract ISO and it's gonna save the actual bin file. I'm just gonna save it to my desktop so you can see it generating here. And as you notice, it already defaults to bin. If you didn't change it, it will try to um, save it as a .img. Like I said, if you wanna save your games into a .img format, go for it. But most um, emulators best run with bin and Q files for the PlayStation 1. So all we're gonna do is just call our title to our game. I'm just gonna call mine Frogger 2. I'm not gonna have any of that other stuff. So, and all you gotta do is save. So if you notice right here, um, it's already done. Um, This game wasn't large at all, but you can see that we have Frogger 2 as a bin and Q mat or bin and Q format. So if you wanted to use this on the PlayStation 3, or if you wanted to use this within like RetroArch or anything of that nature, or, you know, any other emulator you can. And yeah, that's essentially on how easy this is to do that. So if you had a bunch of eboot.pbps, you could, you know, have your stuff ready to go as bin and Q format so as well. With that being said, my name is Nagat Souls Revenge. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. But with that being said, I am out. Peace. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace
Bahamas. Nice and silky smooth.